Do you know what I hate? I hate when I go to the grocery store to buy celery and instead I walk out with Oreos. Before I jump into today's haul, obviously you are looking at this backdrop today instead of me. I actually started doing this, I think last Friday. I haven't quite decided if this is gonna be something I'll do for every Friday's Dollar Tree haul. Um, so I just, I haven't quite landed on how I wanna do that, but I do Dollar Tree hauls four days out of the week. I'm always on camera for that. But I do like switching it up after seeing your guys' comments. I noticed quite a few of you actually prefer seeing my face and my facial expressions, which is so funny. Um, and then some of you actually really liked the change up. So yeah, I'm not quite sure where we're landing, but for today's video, we're going to go for it again and still go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you think about this style of hauls. But don't worry, it's... I'm always, you know, gonna be on camera and such. I just don't know again if this is gonna be something I'll just do like regu regularly for Friday's videos. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump in because I'm so excited about this haul. I'm gonna tell you guys the whole thing. Um, but first item here, we have the strawberry banana nectar. I've actually seen, I think, a mango one, but I'm not sure if I've ever seen the strawberry banana before sold at Dollar Tree. It might have been there and I just wasn't paying attention, but I'm definitely excited to try this out. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Um, about the taste of this if you've tried it if you love it um, it has the same kind of bottle style from like Vita Coco which I've been really into coconut water lately I'm completely addicted to this stuff and I know this is like more of a nectar but I don't know I want to give this a go and it was a dollar Next item is going to be this white vinegar by Leaping Leopard. I've never heard of this brand before, but it's white vinegar. I'm not sure how honestly different <laughs> the ingredients could possibly be between different brands of white vinegar. But what I love about this stuff and what I use it for is actually to clean my fruit. So whenever I buy produce and I bring it into the house, I pour it all into a bowl, fill it up with water, and then I add like a splash of vinegar. White vinegar is known to just get rid of the pesticides and all of that stuff. So this is just something that I've used for a very long time. And then I saw this huge bottle at Dollar Tree and I thought, why not? You know, I mean, vinegar is vinegar. I don't know. Comment down below. Can there be different? I don't know. Just let me know what you guys think. Out of everything in today's haul, I think I am most excited about these. And hopefully I'll be able to explain it in the way that like it's in my head. I, I don't know, but basically, okay, so we're looking at a set of four ceramic white mugs, four white bowls, and then these like oversized like soup bowls, I guess you could say, but they're also kind of like coffee mugs in a way. But I guess what I'm most excited about them is in the way that I'm going to use them. So, you know, there have been lots of times that I've gone through Dollar Tree and you guys know I have their plates and I use them, you know, you know, as my dinnerware and, you know, just put my food on it and all that stuff. But what I'm excited about these is that instead of looking at these from an actual dinnerware perspective and using them to put coffee, to put cereal or like whatever the things, I'm actually gonna use this as decor in my pie safe. So I'm gonna show you guys an overshot of my pie safe as well, but I am gonna be redecorating my kitchen and it just hit me. I was just walking through the middle of Dollar Tree and out of nowhere I thought, you know what? Why don't I get some of the white dinnerware products from Dollar Tree and I can use them to decorate the inside of my pie safe because there is a screen so you can really see through it and I thought adding white ceramic pieces would look really nice. Plus you guys know me with all of like my green decor. I can use these to like stack, make it look really cute, and also add like greenery to them if I wanted to. Kind of like this concept right here. Just took this little green uh, piece that I, you know, you guys, I get all of these from Hobby Lobby most of the time, and then I can just put it inside something like this, and it just looks so pretty, so fresh and clean, and it was just $1. So anytime that I 
can look at a product and think of a different way to use it. I don't know why, but I always get so excited. Anyone else know one, what I'm talking about or two, like feel the same way, but I've never been more stoked <laughs> for these pieces in my life. Now I went ahead and started with like four of each, uh, just because I wasn't quite sure how the pie safe is going to look. And I thought this was a relatively safe number to start off with but i may end up go going back and getting more i also want to do like the white plates as well but i didn't find the ones that i liked so i'm gonna have to visit another dollar tree but yeah these are really cute i've also used one like this for valentine's day i took a red heart sticker put it on the center and then used this in my tear tray as decor so definitely you know, take a look at the Dollar Tree dinnerware section and maybe look at it from a different perspective. Next up are going to be these, which Dollar Tree has labeled as a decanter or a vase. However, when I looked at them, I instantly thought of watercrafts and I've been really into them. I will link my fridge makeover video down below. Definitely go check that out and see how I use Dollar Tree items to organize my fridge with. And I have some of the taller watercrafts that I found at Dollar Tree, but it's been a while since I've seen them at my stores lately. And then I saw these little mini versions and I thought they were so cute. So I can use them as dinnerware, flatware, however, not flatware, but just like dinnerware, I guess you could say. But again, I could look at this from a decor perspective, but I did actually get these for drinking. I just liked how many they were. You can pour like orange juice into them or lemonade or whatever. I don't know. I just saw them and thought they were incredibly adorable. So I picked up four. Let's move on to some of the cutest Easter items that I found this week. These are the solar dancers. Dollar Tree does these for all kinds of seasons and holidays. I feel like a few years ago, solar dancers were like all the rage to haul. Um, I don't know, maybe it's still that way. I'm not incredible, I'm not sure, but these Easter ones are so cute. I definitely do not remember them from last year. And they're just that, they're little solar dancers. You can see they have the solar panel right there. So if you were to put this, you know, on a kitchen window, they're gonna start bobbing like this. Um, as you can see, some of them haven't been un um, under the light long enough, but that's essentially what they do. I think that they are so cute. I love his hat. Love that his little outfit is like a broken eggshell and then it's still on top of his head, super cute. And then she's adorable with her little bow and her carrot. Yeah, absolutely love how different and unique they made each one of these and could be a really adorable addition to an Easter basket. I feel like there's that saying where, you know, what happens to socks? Do they just get up and walk out kind of thing? I have that with scissors. I don't know what it is, but I'm always losing scissors and it drives me absolutely insane. So I found this pair. I think they're pretty nice, soft grip handles. And the color's kind of washing it out because that inside trim is a pretty bright green. Yeah, I'm not sure what is going on with the camera today, but it is washing it out. But just a nice pair of scissors. I'm gonna add it, you know, to the junk drawer and hopefully these won't get up and walk off. If you've been following me for years, then you know when I saw these, I was so excited. Anytime Dollar Tree puts out these pails, what are they calling them? Buckets, these little buckets, I get, I just, I'm over the moon about them. I don't know what it is. They do these for all kinds of holidays. I don't know why, but I just didn't expect them to do it for Easter. I'm not even sure that they did this for 2020. They definitely did it for Christmas and Halloween, I believe, but um, and Valentine's Day. But I just don't know if they've ever done this exact like little bucket for Easter. So very excited to see these. This yellow chick right here is my favorite out of the entire bunch. These are the only three that I found. Comment down below because I feel like there's probably one or two missing from this collection. Pink one with the Easter eggs. Super darling. Love it. And then we have this one that says bunnies be hopping. 
which is hilarious. First time I've seen Dollar Tree use um, this little quote here. So really adorable. But yeah, I don't know what it is about these pails. They've just always been my favorite. I love using them for care packages. Um, you can definitely put, you know, candy in there, lip glosses, or just little things, you know, that might fly around in a care package, kind of tuck them into here. Especially maybe if you're going to send something um, semi-breakable or whatever, you could wrap it up and put it in here, or even like a pair of socks would be cute as well. Now let's dive into the Easter eggs because your mind will be blown from the cutest ones I've ever seen in my life. But first, let me show you guys these two side by side. So we have this set that has a metallic look, and then this one has uh, like a pastel look, but it does have that... Um, that iridescent look to it as well. So I was always used to getting these metallic ones for my daughter. I think they're a really good pickup for like, you know, preteens, older teens. They just have that more mature level style of it, I guess you could say. So I'm always used to getting these for my daughter, but this year I'm actually going to go for these. And the reason why I'm changing it up is because she's really into these lighter colors. I wouldn't say she's into pastels, but the colors she likes happen to be pastel. So like this orange one right here is her favorite shade of orange. Just has that sherbet look and then she loves that color blue and that color green. So I'm definitely going to opt for these for her uh, basket, which is actually going to be a care package and not a basket this year. But yeah, I really love these and I'll probably just put like little lip glosses, hair ties, um, lipsticks, chapstick like all of those little things in here and I might even end up using some of the metallics I'm not sure but I definitely wanted to give you guys the idea that the metallics would be a good pickup for the older crowd and then let you guys know how I've transitioned from this set to this set for my daughter and why. These three right here has been at Dollar Tree for as long as I can remember, okay, that's not necessarily true because I've been shopping at the store for 20 years, but for at least five-ish years. And I'm so glad that they bring them out every single year because they are just so incredibly well done for a dollar. This carrot one is probably my favorite, and you could definitely use this from a decor perspective as well. Uh, you could put it in a tear tray, you could put it, you know, as like a bowl filler style maybe. You could probably use it as a garland, take some twine, hook it around the top and then string them to each other. You know, decorate your fireplace mantle or a console table. So these carrot ones are just, they're amazing. And Dollar Tree makes some really good decisions when they bring back the same products over and over. It's really smart and I just cannot say enough good things about these little Easter eggs. Then we have the yellow chicks and also I just want to point out how big they are too. So you could really fill these up with quite a bit of jelly beans and little chocolates and things like that. Um, and then maybe like you could do the specialty ones if you're going to do like an Easter egg hunt and maybe these could be like the quote unquote golden egg for everyone to find and maybe, you know, put some money or something like that in them. Then we have the bunnies. So you get three to a pack in all of them and the bunnies are so beautiful too. Honestly, what I would love to see is them do a blue version of this one as well. Um, but yeah, just, I don't, honestly don't even know what else to say about them. They're just absolutely fabulous. I get these every single year because they're just simply that good. These have also been around for several years as well. They're on a smaller scale, but you do get more in here. You get eight, uh, pink bunnies and they're super cute. I love that they gave them the ears. Definitely makes them unique and would be a cute addition to the Easter egg hunt or the Easter basket as well. I raved about these little dinosaur eggs last year and probably the year before. I think these have been relatively new, like the last three years, if I had to guess. Maybe a stretch to four, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure. But these have been new, but 
Obviously, Dollar Tree has been bringing them back out for a couple years now, and I think that's a smart decision because they're so cute and adorable. Like, I love these little dinosaur eggs. Here is another set of Easter eggs. I think they might have been out last year, but at the same time, they're kind of looking new, but you guys know my faulty memory. But these are cute because they have like a wild safari animal style to them horizontal than they are vertical just the way that they painted the faces on there but we've got the tigers and the giraffe the cow there's a monkey and then a koala bear that looks like a koala bear but super super adorable love these so if your child is definitely into animals these are going to be an amazing pickup we've got the hippo here what looks to be the kitty cat and then a zebra that, is that a raccoon? And then the blue elephant. And these are the ones that I finally found. I was so shook the first time I saw somebody post about these on Instagram. I said, I'm sorry, what is that? Uh, but they are little truck Easter eggs and you get six in here they did a beautiful rainbow selection i love it when they do that because you know kids can have like their favorite color so you can definitely pick out the ones you know that you know your child loves for their basket and i cannot believe dollar tree did this this is definitely brand new if they did this in 2020 my stores definitely did not have them and sometimes that just simply happens but i feel like this is a new release for 2021 and i'm telling you guys i feel like these are gonna fly off the shelves i also think they've been just recently put out in the last couple of weeks but let me tell you i've never been more excited in my life i don't know why I just got one. I am hoping Dollar Tree is going to put these back out for next year as well. These should definitely be a repeat. I'm just honestly so shook. Here's an overview of all of the eggs together. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love the store. I don't, my brain just like it. Uh, I don't know, I'm literally sometimes rendered speechless. And Bye. that's going to be it for today's haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And yeah, I just, I think this is so incredibly cute. Honestly, I'm never gonna get over those. And very excited for these for decorating. Tomorrow's video is gonna be a huge home decor haul. So definitely stick around so you guys can kind of see because the next space we're gonna be updating is going to be the kitchen. So if you're interested in that, definitely stick around, but that's gonna be it for today's Dollar Tree haul. I'll see you guys next time.